Let's take a look at the Viking 90 SB Sport Fish, the new flagship of Viking yachts. This beautiful beast is a pinnacle of the sport fishing world. She's 90 feet long with beam of 23 feet and powered by massive twin MTU Series 2000 V16 M96L engines. This yacht is a completely new design with the best features of a mega yacht and sport fish, and you can own her for $15.5 million US. She's a work of art with attention to detail down to the faux wood painted speaker covers. One of the most obvious features of this incredible yacht is a massive cockpit. It measures 224 square feet with a two-level mezzanine overlooking it. There's plenty of air-conditioned seating for everyone to enjoy all the action at the stern, and it's easy for them to jump in and out of the action and have comfortable seating. There's tons of storage, refrigeration, and tackle compartments with everything is in easy reach. Access to the engine room and cruise quarters is through a hatch amidships in the lower mezzanine. Walking through the electric door to the salon, you know you're in a large yacht with a salon that looks like it goes on forever. To port is a very comfy looking seating area, which is a perfect place to crash between bites. As you can see, the salon is bright and airy with plenty of glass to enjoy what's going on outdoors. The dining area is huge and can seat a crowd for dinner with no problem. Right next to the wet bar is a hidden 65 inch TV that reveals itself with the push of a button. Just can't get over how roomy it is in here. You could fit a dozen people without feeling crowded at all. The galley is nicer than most kitchens, equipped with two sub-zero refrigerators, a freezer, a four burner convection stovetop, and a whole lot more, all topped by a gorgeous stone countertop and five bar stools. Just look at it. Who wouldn't want to entertain or be entertained here? Next to the salon is a roomy and stylish day head, one of seven bathrooms aboard. From here, you go down a few steps to this long hall towards the bow. It's hard to imagine you're on a sport fish from this view. Down the steps and to my left is one of six staterooms with a roomy bed and plenty of cabinets. Gorgeous wood everywhere. As we continue our stroll down this long hallway, we come across another stateroom on the starboard side. Now this one's much bigger. You got a large walk around bed with nightstands on either side, big closets, and it resembles more a master stateroom than a guest suite. And this suite has its own large head with a large walk-in shower. Stepping out of this suite and walking down the hall to the end, we come across the master suite. Nope, just kidding. It's actually not. It could be. It's large enough and luxurious enough to be a master suite, but in this yacht, it's not. It's got a large, comfortable bed, a really nice in-suite bathroom, tons of storage, lots of closet space, very luxurious, nice place to just hang out and sleep. Coming back down the hall and down just a couple of steps, you enter the actual master suite. Wow. I'll take it. It reeks comfort and luxury, but also practicality. With the two large ports on either side and all the well-placed LED lighting, it feels very bright and spacious in here. With tons of wardrobe and closet space along with a settee and a vanity and desk area, there's plenty of room and you can spend time down here very, very comfortably. Just on the other side of the bed is a his and hers bathroom with a huge shared shower dividing them. No fighting over the toothpaste with these bathrooms. Stepping out of the suite, going up a couple of steps, and immediately to your right is a closet. You open it up, and there's no excuse for dirty clothes on this yacht. You've got a full-size washer and dryer in there. Taking a leisurely stroll from the back of the salon towards the cockpit, at the very end of the salon, you'll see staircases just behind the wet bar. Those steps will take you up to the enclosed flybridge. I just can't get over this salon. It's hard to believe this is a sport fish. Just look at it. 
And check out this flybridge, it's amazing. Feels like a second salon, super comfortable. Tons of seating for everyone to enjoy runtime or just a better view of the surroundings. And look at that view. The helm's no slouch either. It's got five massive displays and the latest in marine electronics, all expertly installed by AME, Viking's own marine electronics company. There's certainly nothing lacking at this helm. Well, I guess all good things must come to an end. It's time to head down and out. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this incredible sport fish, and that maybe one day it's in your future. Hey, we can all dream, right?